Yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Mitchell J back with another video and today we've got the most awkward NBA media day ever by Am Hoops. Let's check it out. If another front office guy said mm. this about his star player, he would be fired. But Masai Ooh. Ujiri is special. He's one of just nine current decision makers to win a championship. So hey. when he calls Pascal Siakam selfish, I guess it's okay. We what? do believe in Pascal. Uh, we do believe <laughs> that um, a lot of our players didn't play the right way um, last year. Oh, shit. And we want to see them play the right way. I said hey, fair that enough. we were selfish. I'm not running away from that. Uh, we were selfish and we did not play the right way. So let us see it when we play the right way. What? Oh, Damn. don't go to Raptors Twitter saying that. They say he wasn't talking about Pascal. He was talking about the whole team. He was literally asked about Pascal Siakam and he goes, yeah, we like Pascal. We mm. were really selfish though last year and have to play the right way. It's like <sighs> if I said, no, that pizza place is good. Also, I hate getting food poisoning. It's the worst. <laughs> Coincidence? No, he oh, was talking geez. about Pascal, among I didn't others. Say that. But what did Siakam say back? Ooh. He left no doubt. I will speak for me personally. I have never been a selfish player in my life. I have always I mean, played the game the right way. But underneath Pascal. all of this is the Raptors selfish. refusing to offer Pascal a contract extension. Mm. They can give him up to four years, about 200 million, but they don't know if he's worth Dang. it yet. The Raptors, a team that no star free agent has ever wanted to go to before, <laughs> is like, oh, a two-time All-NBA player in your prime. Yeah, we're just yeah. not sure. You know, we're gonna have to see and we'll call you later. But is Masai secretly a genius? He has Ooh. outsmarted the NBA before. Yeah, it was He was Kawhi. hired in 2013, and despite a non-glamour market, has made Toronto one of the best-run organizations in basketball. Yeah, that's Two fair, man. conference championships, mm. won an NBA title. Mm. But one of his best attributes is identifying talent late in the draft. In 2016, he picked a former zero-star recruit named Pascal Siakam. Ooh. He grew up in Cameroon, studying to be a Catholic priest. In fact, Pascal went all the way through seminary school, wasn't even interested in hoops, but his dad encouraged him to play because of his height and his natural skills. Hey, so fair man. after graduation, Pascal went to a basketball camp and was discovered by former Cameroonian NBA player, Luke Mba Amute. Oh, yeah. Eventually, a prep school in Texas where, uh, offered Mbappe Pascal a scholarship and he figured, all right, well, it's worth a sure. shot. Other African players have gone pro, but the only D1 college to recruit him was New Mexico State. Mm -hmm. And during his first year there pascal's dad died after a car wreck it yeah, was the worst moment of his life but it changed how he played instead of giving basketball a try it became a burning passion making the nba mm. was his dad's dream for him so pascal became yep. laser focused some That's NBA people thought Pascal might not even get drafted at all until he worked out for Toronto. Okay. Masai Ujiri knew Pascal was special and he promised to make him a first round pick. And hey. he was right. Pascal up. went from a project to most improved player to all-star and champion. Why wouldn't you pay a homegrown success story yeah. like that? No wonder Pascal feels betrayed. Well, the problem is team success. Ever since Kawhi Leonard left, Pascal has been their best player, mm -hmm. and it's not good. 2021, missed the playoffs. 2022, first round exit. Mm. Last year, 41 and 41, made the play-in, then lost to the Chicago Bulls. Oh, Pascal uh, was good. Yeah. A career high 24 points and six assists a night. Only other players with that last year, Giannis, Jokic, and LeBron. Shit. But it's not good enough for the team. It's why they were interested in Damian Lillard. Even though Pascal is good, their mm. team half-court offense is atrocious. Last year's top three half-court teams, the Mavs, yep. Kings, and Celtics. Okay. Toronto, 25th in the NBA. Ooh, yeah, no, that's Do you want to pay Pascal like a number one player when he's not a number one player? So the plan yeah, fair, is man. to see what happens. The Raptors fired head coach Nick Nurse and brought in Darko Rayakovich. Masai says he wants to see how Pascal works in Darko's system. Maybe Scotty Barnes improves. Then yep. Pascal is rewarded with that four-year max contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. This team will probably be worse. I'm sorry, but Nick Nurse to a rookie head coach. Yeah, they lost they Fred Van Vliet as well. Fred Van Vliet with Dennis Schroeder. Then what are you going to do? Yeah. Say, sorry, Pascal, this sucked. You got to take a pay cut. 
No, he could leave for nothing. What are they yeah, gambling fair, man. with? I know Pascal once said, I only want to be a Raptor, but things have changed. He heard his name in trade talks this summer, mm. refused to join the team for workouts in Las Vegas. Nope. Also, Gary Trent and OG Ananobi can be free agents. Mark Stein reported about OG. Ananobi will continue to rebuff any extension attempts from the Raptors. Mm. 117 million over four seasons is the most they can offer. To play out this season and proceed seed to free agency next summer that's not good now no. og did say i want to be here but masai has a history of letting oh, free going. agents walk for nothing going in else, fact man. from that championship team five rotation players left for zero Ooh, the two others were Kyle Lowry and Norman Powell. In return yeah. for them, they got back Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood for Powell, Goran Dragic and Precious Achua for Lowry. Not mm. exactly a huge return. Yeah. So for the past three seasons, people have been waiting for a rebuild that just never happens. <laughs> and it's frustrating yeah. because NBA there fans are, no are used to, you know, big trades and tanking for draft picks. But Masai likes to do things different. He doesn't believe mm. in tanking refuses to overpay players won't get fleeced on a deal oh but if they happen to have a horrible season like in 2021 yeah he'll take the number four pick but he's not gonna lose on purpose yeah. he's not like all those other teams Masai does things the right way or does he is there a Ooh. chance Masai is listening to all the people saying he's a genius and believing his own hype and <laughs> ruining the franchise why else would he be telling a two-time all-nba player to wait and see on a contract. Yeah. You're the Toronto Raptors. You should be happy to pay an all-star who wants to be with you. That doesn't there happen. Hasn't been anyone yes, I know. Pascal is not a number man. one option. But teams have room for more than one max player. Or do you ask him to take a pay cut? No, another team would pay him the max on the open market. Yeah. That's the gamble that they made with Fred Van Vliet. Oh, and the Rockets said, yeah, we'll take him. Or you pay Pascal <laughs> now and he becomes a big trade piece for later on. That yeah, is how good. the NBA works. Do the rules not apply Seems to, to the, the Raptors? Way these days. I guess not. Or at least that's how Masai has been operating the last few years. But I am open to being wrong. Obviously, I'm not an NBA GM. Maybe mm. the Raptors are a contender in a few years. Masai is a genius and I'm an idiot. <laughs> or... He chooses to not trade stars like Fred Van Vliet for picks. Then he alienates current stars like Pascal and OG who leave for nothing. Yeah. We could look back on this as a huge disaster. These could all be steps to ruining the franchise. Ooh. Oh, but don't worry, they say. He's a genius. <laughs> look, I know that was a really harsh take and a lot of Raptor yeah, fans gonna be are going to, to see what happens. This what year. else is new? But speaking of the East, obviously the big news was Damian Lillard mm. going to the Bucks. But right after that, Drew yeah, well, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Catch you all next time. Peace.